Hi guys, it's a Yumu. Welcome to my stream. Today we're gonna continue a little bit more on New Carnival Clean Star. So chapter 9 actually released last night, but I was sleepy, you <laughs> know. Hello Sachan, hello Etto. How are you two doing today? I hope you two are doing great. Yeah, 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 yeah. So to recap the last time, right? Um, Aiden... It's a sad baby. <laughs> he got left behind. He uh, <laughs> he was not adopted. He likely grew up alone. That's why he's he's so horny. <laughs> sad, really, really, really sad. But it seems like everyone in um, the game is trying to set up a party for him. And honestly, it sounds really, really exciting to hear because. Everyone is coming up with their own ways to celebrate uh, Aiden's birthday according to where they grew up and stuff. I think that's that's really, really cool. Today you eat and watch? Okay. <laughs> Without further ado, let's start chapter 9. I was also watching my bot last night and I, I noticed that... Maybe I should tone down in my excitedness. I was afraid that no one could understand me when I, I like, like I go crazy hyper. So I was like, oh no, I, I, I should probably tone it down. But like, I will still have emotions in my voice, but I'm not gonna go oh, yeah! oh! Con constantly, right? So I'll try my best. I don't know. Do let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Hello, Yumu. Is this stream say so or say sus? It's likely gonna be say so for now with a hint of say sus because uh, we have some horny bastards in this <laughs> in this game. <laughs> All right. Hmm. I never thought claims forty nine best boinking spots would be such an interesting read. Is that the time? Strange. It's normally noisy as hell around here by now. Come in. Master Aiden, Lord Aster requests your immediate presence in the dining hall. Huh? Is dinner ready? Seems a little earlier than usual. Ah, well, uh, <laughs> Master Moray is feeling extra hungry, so dinner is being served a bit earlier today. Maybe here lurking, but if I hear something sus, I might get pulled right back. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll be saucy just for you. <laughs> Why does she look so nervous? All the staff plus Aster and Morvey have been acting kinda weird lately. Master Aiden, if you please. Ah, uh, the smell. Yahoo! Her pack truly handsome and cute, and sometimes a little lazy, but an unrivaled beast of seduction in the bedroom. That's right, our illustrious master is here! It's time to wish him a happy birthday! Oh, everyone's here! Hello! Aiden, you deserve this! Oh my god, he deserves this so much. That intro was way too long. I meant every word! Y you guys, this is... Hi, Celia. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Kamini. Hello, hello. 
welcome, welcome. We are in, in for another episode of Sussy Games. <laughs> but it's a very say so event this time. Look, there's a there's a party. That's for Aiden today. It's so <laughs> Oh It's so <laughs> It's so sweet. Magically enchanted party decorations glitter and dance around the room. And Aiden sniffs the mouth-watering scent of freshly roasted meat. A flurry of old memories come flooding back. What's going on? How did you know today's my birthday? You kept harping on about it in your sleep. We weren't sure of the exact date, so we decided the whole month could be your birthday. <laughs> Is it really your birthday today? Damn, we got lucky. Oh. The, the the whole month. Eito-san. Ah, Mr. Aiden, please take a seat over there. Eh, what the? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, that looks. Oh my god, that looks so good. I want. I want something like that. Right now. I want. Yo, I don't. I have some pork in the fridge. Yo, I should eat some. Oh. <laughs> The party goers steer Aiden towards uh, the place of honor. Dante throws a glance to the side, and a group of servants appears carrying a ginormous pot of sizzling high grade beast meat. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing! So that's where the delicious smell was coming from. Oh. I've never seen roasted mi meat like this before. Are those spices from the fire terry stuffed inside? Hmm, mm, not bad. Stuffed the meat with spices and slow roasted in hot sand. Oh my god! Yo, isn't that like beggar's chicken? Holy shit, this is delicious! An, an authentic specialty of the, the, the fire ter territory. <laughs> it's the meat of the giant hoof boar that Karu and the Sun Lord hunted together, master. I hope Ayubu doesn't say anything, uh, not child-friendly. Haha, <laughs> too bad, so sad. I will. Either that or the game itself will tell me something to say. <laughs> Ooh. For real, way to go, Karu. At first, I was gonna take care of the hunting. But Karu said he didn't get to help you much when he made the candy. So this time, he at least wanted to. Oh, there we go! There there we go! Oh no, oh no, here we go. What's wrong with telling Master? He's not gonna laugh at you. No need to get angry. Hi, Saturine. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. You're at work. Please focus at your work. But thank you so much for dropping by. Oh, Topper. <laughs> yes, you'll get your share too. Topper, it's okay. Wait a little bit, okay? You get to share all the meat. <laughs> In the fire territory, offering a beast of this size on one's birthday would be an insult. So... You did this to help me celebrate my birthday? Uh, I, I merely lent that noisy little canine a, a slight helping hand, nothing more. Unbelievable! The Sundere King, Dante, is actually helping out Aiden for his birthday? Oh my god! <laughs> Kairu says he wants to make sure that you know he just happened to hunt down this beast and just happened to give it to you, master. <laughs> They're both trying to play it cool, but hunting a huge boar like this must have been pretty tough. Man, I wish I could have seen Dar uh, Karu and Dante working together. But thanks, everyone. Let's get this party started. Is that a leash on the dude? Hi, Kyra, and Hello, hello. Yes! Because he, he's into BDSM, Kyron. <laughs> it's a porn game, Kyron. <laughs> but how are you doing today? Apart from the roasted boar, it looks like Yakumo's made tons of this tasty dishes. I'm gonna be the size of a boar myself when I'm done. Cough. <gasps> Seeing as the most main, most of the main dishes lay resting in everyone's bellies, it's about time to. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. 
Ooh, Edmonds and oh. This is so ugly. <laughs> this is so ugly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yakumo wheels out a cart carrying a cake as big as a boar's head. The top of the cake is adorned in raisins arranged in a, in a shape of a smiley face. What ugly, it's cute, it's ugly. It's ugly, it's fuck. But I love it, it's like a pug, you know? Pugs are so fucking ugly. But it's so cute because it's so ugly. <laughs> Those are some tight crunch, yeah he's a bottom, that's why. Yeah. He has a he has a very high definition crotch because he's a bottom. <laughs> Y'all, me and my chat versus oh my god, you have no taste. <laughs> <laughs> the sight warms Aiden's heart. Sir Edman and I worked together to make this cupcake. We even gathered everyone together to to do a taste test. We hope you like it, Mr. Aiden. What do you mean? Pugs are cute. Pugs are ugly cute. It's so fucking ugly, it's cute. <laughs> are you with our food standards are too high yet he eats like a gallon of kimchi? Kimchi is good for you. Don't you know the story of a guy that got snowed in for uh, 39, I think 49 days and all he, a he had to eat was kimchi and snow? He survived, and he was very, very healthy. <laughs> That's one hell of a cupcake. It consists of fluffy sponge with a moist center. We, and we used only the finest quality raisins. Although it's a shame that Yakumo would allow me to add more sugar. Oh, oh, oh. Diabetes. Oh, thank God. Thank God that, like... Edmund didn't have too much of a hand in the kitchen. Holy shit, we are so ready for it, like, to to give everyone food poisoning. But since everyone ate it, I think everyone is doing good. The thing is, why do the characters look so sussy? Celia, this is a porn game. <laughs> everyone, I have to remind you, this is a porn game. R18 porn. The do 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 do. The razzle frazzle. The R18. <laughs> the reason why MRM is banned in like several countries. <laughs> the sussy. This is the sussy. <laughs> I bet the smiley face was done by Edmund. Oh, I, I think so too. I don't think. I think Yakumo would have probably have like a little bit more artistic creativity here. <laughs> Do we get to see dicks? No, I'll get I'll get banned, Kyron. Do you want to mean banned? How could you? I thought you were my friend. I thought you were my friend. They might have gotten a little over enthusiastic and made a cupcake a little bigger than usual. Everyone can have a share. Not. Unlike how we all received your homemade candy. So basically they made a giant cake. That's it. That's so cute. We have a birthday cake. Aww. It's not porn if there's no dicks. There is high HD quality dicks in this game. And I unfortunately cannot show it because YouTube could YouTube will not be merciful and ban me. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Komini, <laughs> Komini Papa. I'm so sorry, Komini Papa. I Salamat, <laughs> Salamat, Ayumu, Ayumu, Putang Namo. I hope he forgets me now. That's it. <laughs> Mr. Aiden, we'll leave the honor of cutting the cake and having the first taste to you. <laughs> I haven't cut a cake in ages. I'm I'm a little nervous. Mega Slash! Whoa! It's filled with all kinds of nuts and dried fruits. The fruitcake? That's cute. 
Yo, I always wanted to try like one of those jelly cakes. Isn't that- isn't there like a cake that's like yellow sponge? And then they have like a little jelly- jelly like- like fruits on the top. I think that's really pretty to look at. You know? <laughs> my image, my house, gone. Oh no, Komini, homeless. We love to see it. Well, um, we couldn't decide on what ingredients to use. <laughs> Shh, I almost got caught. When you say it was our teen, I, I quickly turned my volume down and my sister is staring at me suspiciously. Goodbye, y'all. Tonight, everyone's gonna get homeless. <laughs> everyone's gonna get homeless tonight. Yay! Isn't that great? <laughs> as far as you could remember, you're not particularly picky. So we drew in a bit of everything. Edmund and I spent a lot of time researching how we could fit everything without it leaking out. Oh. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Indeed. We tested out a great many methods before we discovered wrapping the fillings with caramelized sugar did the trick. Alright. Well, I'm gonna dig right in. Damn, this is tasty as hell. Way better than any store-bought store -bought cake. The fruit is so rich, it's got the perfect level of sweetness. You guys really put a lot of thought into this. Well, at first I wanted to be a bit more bitter to keep in line with the tradition, but Sir Edmund wanted, wanted it to have a sweeter taste. I I mere I was merely um, seeing as though birthday cakes traditionally contain bitter nuts, I suppose it would lose its meaning if it were too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. We can't just expect everything to go always our way, but whatever troubles we do face, we always have the tr have the power to overcome them, right? That's right, Aiden. Mm. That's... that's so sweet. That is so sweet. <laughs> the two idiots finally used their brain cells together and finally made something that's edible and really cute and ugly at the same time. We love to see it. <laughs> How's everyone so far? Everyone homeless yet? I hope not. <laughs> Let's go, next chapter! Ah, darling's got fruit around his mouth. So fruity, so sweet, so delicious! Yakuma and Edmund are amazing! Alright, while everyone's enjoying this delicious cupcake, I've got a special gift unique to the water territory to for you, Aiden. Oh, that is cute! Oh, that is so cute. So that's more ways than Olivine's gift. Aww. <laughs> Aww. This is so cute. Isn't this like the... Like a little charm that the god of Klein can like... Visit... Aiden and then like bless him? Oh my god. Oh, holy god of Klein. Under the guidance of the stars, may you bestow your, your blessings and those of the five elements unto Aiden so that he may enjoy peace and good fortune. Olivine, thank you. The star is so pretty, did you make it yourself? That's right, rather than getting one sent all the way from the water territory, I thought it'd be much more efficient if I made it myself. So detailed, are those stars hanging on the wall the same too? There's stars behind? Wait. They're similar, but yours is the biggest, Master. Hi. Th these are known as the lucky birthday stars. They're blessed by a priest in the hope that whosoever receives them will receive the God of Clean's graces throughout the following year. This is so... Yo, know, I would love to have something like this as a birthday present. I personally do not like, like, pricey presents myself. I don't like it when people spend a lot of money for me. Like, 
in on my birthday, I would prefer it if people gifted me like food or something like this. Preferably, because this is kind of like, like you really put a lot of thought to the other to the other person. You know, you actually put a lot of thought. You you spend nights for this. You know, I think that's much more priceless than any store bought gift. Yeah, like handmade stuff. Yeah, and bye bye, Celia. Thank you for dropping by. <laughs> Every year, pious believers of the faith bring their stars to the temple to pray. But don't worry, I already prayed over yours, Aiden. Feel free to hang it wherever you like. <laughs> wow, sounds kind of mysterious, but it really is, is super pretty. Thank you, Olivine. The fabric star feels soft and fluffy in Aiden's hand. Giving it a little squeeze, his nose, is, his nose detects a pleasant aroma. What's the scent? Sneef sneef. Kind of like flowers and wood. Huh? This part's tied shut, but it looks like it can be opened. Ah, it really does open up. The fragrance strengthens as Aiden loosens the ties. A rich, woody scent fills his nostrils, followed by a soft aroma of fresh flowers. Oh no, is this the horny, the horny flowers? Oh my god. Goodbye, Aiden. Oh, okay, okay, this makes him happy. So it's weed. We got weed! Yay! And hi, Yomi Yiboon. Hello, Kombawa to you too. How are you? How are you? We are in the middle of chapter 10, and Aiden has received handmade gifts uh, a handmade gift, a star from Olivine, and a birthday cake from ya Yakumo and Edmund. Yeah, so this is so, so cute. <laughs> I'm trying to do my work and keep hearing Yabai shit. What the fuck? Kyron! Okay! <laughs> well, goodbye, Kyron. It's time for you to get homeless, too. <laughs> Imagine Aster quoting e Eddie's quotes and Ed 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 Eddie. Oh my god. That would be so funny because Aster is a big business business guy. Businessman like Eddie, too. <laughs> Smells so good. Morvey added some of its own specially formulated incense to the flower petals stored inside. This way, they should keep their fragrance for years to come. Oh, this is so nice, yo! The one thing I do not like about like preserved flowers this way is that uh, they lose their scent after like a week or something. So I'm like, oh, what's the point? You know, I rather I rather get f fresh ones to to like let it last. And Yakuma coding double D? Oh my god, no. Why did you put that metal image in my mind? <laughs> ah, it's just a little something I mixed up. Nothing too special. Master, the scent should give you a little lift when you're feeling down. Oh, so he was already feeling down? Oh no. And I paid for everything. <laughs> Yo, the way that Aster dropped in though. <laughs> I, I paid for everything, even though I, I basically didn't make anything. I, You know, money money is hard to come by, so like, please uh, appreciate me too, um, master. <laughs> oh, I see, Olivine. You said I could hang it by my bed, right? If I fall asleep smelling this fragrance every night, I bet I'll have the sweetest dreams. <laughs> Aiden's eyes are shining. This is so cute. <laughs> the little side stitch on Aster's shorts. Where? Wait, where? The side stitch? I don't get it. Which one? The crotch? How do I? How do I? How do I? How do I hide the? How do I hide the thing? I, I don't know how to hide the thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That will be pretty awesome too. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Luck and happiness. That's what he needs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, he almost died like, I don't know, five times now. It's kind of hilarious at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Having finished his share of warm meat, um, Topper drags a bundle across the table while waving his little legs at Aiden. Aww! Teeny tiny. Aww. <laughs> uh, is that for me? Yeah. I'm starting to see a pattern here. I'm guessing there's a gift from each of you, right? This this one must be from Topper and Quincy. 
Hey kid, uh, this is repayment for the candy. Alright, let me see what it is. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Oh, uh, okay. What's the most explicit scene you've seen that almost made you... Uh, that made you almost sweat? Well, two streams ago, right? I almost got banned. <laughs> Because I wanted to show Morvey, and Morvey did saucy sounds, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's kind of like a dream catcher. And welcome back, Kumini. This is so cute. This is really, really cute. Ah, could it be? If I remember correctly, I've seen one of these in a book I once read. It's a protective charm known as an evergreen talisman. Is that right? Yes. Did you make this yourself, Quincy? What a cool name! Boku. This is the first time I've seen one in my own eyes. With my own eyes. It said, according to tradition, the tribes weave them from numerous twigs and vines to symbolize health and longevity. Longevity. <laughs> Did I recommend Magic Kami DX in terms of hedge, hedge games? Hmm. I will consider it. I don't often play a lot of, uh, Boy, ex girl, sort of. <laughs> Age gains in personal, uh, my personal taste because the women's parts look like balloons sometimes. So I'm just like, hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, I I rather I rather see hot men. <laughs> but I, I am okay. Oh, there's actually plot. Okay, if there's plot, then I'm more convinced to play. Okay, okay, I'll I'll I'll, I'll consider that. I'll, I'll consider that. Thank you for the suggestion. So that's what it means. Thanks, Quincy. He's, he's just so happy. Allowing Olivine to provide all the all necessary explanations, Quincy gaze, uh, gives a lazy nod. Oh my, so you really decide to give the young master something so dull, old friend. <sighs> a familiar voice rings out, appearing as if uh, out of thin air. Kuya's fed up expression looks at Aiden's way. <gasps> Whoa, you came. Yeah. <laughs> I can't man, I'm so sorry. Like literally this 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 event this event has been like <laughs> Like what am I supposed to thank you for, Kuya? Oh I I, I can't recall anything I could thank you for and then I, and then he's now like wow you actually came Damn, bitch. You're like my... <laughs> You're like my long-lost uncle from... <laughs> that I lost contact with 20 years ago. <laughs> Are you displeased, young master? Oh, he's angry. Akuya actually wanted to come. <laughs> Man, I wish there was more hitch games like New Carnival. Me too, me too. Especially for mobile. I think this is like the first time I've seen a mobile game that's like able to be like this. You know, I think it's pretty cool. Of course not. I'm thrilled that the great master Kuya has taken time out of his busy schedule to grace me with his presence. <laughs> so well behaved, young master. I suppose the gift I brought won't go to waste after all. <gasps> he actually brought something? Holy shit, that's amazing. Like, you know, I, I set my expectations low, but I didn't expect him to, like, actually give something. <laughs> oh, wow, that's really nice. So, yeah. <laughs> Am I seeing things? Him just being here is a, is a surprise enough, but giving me a gift? I bet you a hundred coins that it's cursed. I was about to say the same thing. Oh my god, these two. <laughs> These two. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Aren't you going to take it, young master? Why do I get the feeling that I'd better be off? Uh, I'd better off. I'd be better off if I didn't. <laughs> How oh, vigilant of you, young master. You deserve some praise. So he did give us a cursed item. What the fuck? He actually gave us a cursed item? 
<laughs> what the fuck? This is... <laughs> cool, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll, I'll consider that. Thank you for the suggestion, Neo Yi Woon. <laughs> but what will happen if we actually keep it, though? Uh, it's a little unexpected, but seeing you as you went through the trouble, um, I'll accept your gift. A talisman shakes violently as Aiden takes it in his hand. Huh? Oi. Hey! Aiden-san! Oh, sheesh! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. You fucking- Ah, oh, you asshole! This is for Aiden's birthday! Okay, so is everyone gonna turn Shoda now? Nice. Countless slender purple <laughs> I'm sorry. My my mind my mind just went somewhere. <laughs> uh countless slender purple lines um grow from the talisman, binding Aiden's entire body. <laughs> Unable to maintain a stable center of gravity, he falls to the floor falls to the floor. Old fox. What is this? It tickles. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> The vines tighten around their prey, rubbing against Aiden's clothes and sending him into hysterics. Mr. Aiden, what should we do? There's no poison involved, don't worry. That's so ticklish. Ah, stop, stop, stop squeezing me. <laughs> don't struggle, it'll only bind you to... Um It'll only bind you tighter. <laughs> well, we're ha we're having tentacles today. <laughs> well, uh, well, I was, you know, I was expecting it to not happen because you know Yakumo doesn't have two dicks despite being a serpent. But like, I am hoping <laughs> we get something like this, and I'm just like, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> Aiden lies as Quincy cuts away the, away the vines, then slowly makes his way to his feet. M Mr. Aiden, are you okay? <laughs> Damn, that tickled. I knew you were up to, to no good, but I still fell for it. I merely added a little magic to speed up the, the growth of the vines. If you ask me, I was rather merciful. <laughs> Hopefully, my gift has taught you to be wary of your surroundings and everybody you meet, young master. Huh. I prefer a gift that doesn't try to squeeze me to death, but I suppose it does possess your unique flair. But, uh... The thought of you tr going out into the forest and collecting vines up to weave this talisman, all just to give me- to teach me a lesson? It's a little... Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Is it, that's a sprite I've not seen Kuya do before. Wait, wait, guys, look. Oh, sheesh! Aiden tries his best to hold in the laughter bubbling inside, but the twitching corners of his mouth give him away. No, 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 no. No, no, Kuya, Kuya is embarrassed. He's actually embarrassed. He's not- Oh, shit. My, my kindness... Like, I'm actually thinking about Aiden? That kind of thing? You know, like, even though it's a harmless prank, he's like, he's like, he's like, you know, he's like, oh my god, I'm actually, I got found out for making a gift for Aiden. That's, that's really cute. <laughs> Kindness, yes, such a rarity from Kuya. All of Ayn's SSR outfits to ingrain in my mind how at how ridiculous and yet hot it is. <laughs> That's why he's a, he's the slut of the game next to Edmund. <laughs> Must Master Kuya weaving? <laughs> oh no, my stomach! I can't breathe. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh man, he's not happy. He's not happy. He's not happy that we found his his little kind heart finally warming up to us. <laughs> the second part to this tradition involves spending a night alone and unarmed deep in the forest. The scene's young master and his two familiars are ready to take on the challenge. I can send you there with a flick of the wrist, you know. No, 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 Master Kuya, please. There's, there's no need for that. Hi, oh. AF. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? You doing good? <laughs> Welcome to the stream. This is a BL game and uh, a really sussy one at that. Are you sure? Are you okay with that? It's are you okay with that? <laughs> it's okay. You can. I I'm just afraid that not everyone's into this game. <laughs> Still so ungrateful, young master. It seems this lesson wasn't quite rigorous enough. It was more more than rigorous. I'm very grateful for your gift. Still trying to hold in his laughter, Aiden picks up the talisman and puts it together with Quincy's. Yo, Quincy's gonna be so bitter. This is a regular talisman. It can't compare to the to an evergreen talisman. Wait, is that? Kuya being humble? Wait, Kuya was humble. Wait, Kuya is actually humble. Wait. He's like, it's nothing actually special. It's not like Qu Quincy's awesome gift. Oh my god. Wait, he... Oh, that's so cute. Kuya, Kuya is actually feeling a little bit like shy. Like, oh, it's just, it's not really... You know, compared to like everybody else, because he's not like really friends with everyone else. I'm just that's why he he didn't have any help when it comes to this matter. Well, that's that's really cute. Oh my god, <laughs> it's fine. This is your handiwork, after all. I'll treasure them both. Thank you. <laughs> a handmade gift from Kuya. Even if I had a yokai's lifespan, I doubt I'd ever see anything like this again. What's so good about some something so very dull? I'll never understand your taste, young master. Come on, Kuya, we like we we like your gift. Come on, Kuya. It's okay, Kuya, you got <laughs> Kuya, you can finally be warm with us. You don't you don't have to be so cold to us all the time. Here we go guys, the final chapter. Is everybody ready? Who else are we missing? I think we covered, like, basically everybody. Hey, sh shitty little vampire. Looks like the fox's mood has improved. Before he decides to make more trouble, you and Blade better give Master your gifts. Not so loud. Shit, why did he have to say that? I planned to learn how to make a singing candle from Blade. But it turns out he didn't have a clue what he was doing. I gave him all the materials he asked for, and he ended up just messing around with them all day. And here I was, thinking that I was sitting on a gold mine. Big mistake. Blade, we- Oh my god, yeah, Blade. Blade is like the last one. I think. I think Dante- Yeah, I think- Yeah, I think that's everybody, actually. Blade wheels over a cart, ca carrying a huge item mysteriously hidden under a large sheet. Over here, over here, little Aster and I made this for you. Little Aster, let's reveal our gift for Darling together, okay? Hey, leave me out of this. <laughs> I just provided a few of the necessary materials, that's all. This thing is the result of your hard work, Blade. You don't need to include me. Oh, but you helped me so much, little Aster. Whoa. It's so big. What is it? Ta-da! La-da-da! Da-da-da! La-da-da! Blade pulls away the sheet to reveal his Aiden-sized gift. Okay, now I take it back. The cake is cute. This is... Oh, oh, wow. I... I take it back. The cake is cute. I... <laughs> I... 
I hate the I hate the candle, the the wick, the little string on the top. It looks extra ugly. <laughs> it's you, darling. It's the cutest, the cutest darling ever. No, it's not cute. It's not cute. It's fucking ugly. Before Aiden's eyes lies a gigantic and bizarrely col colored candle striking a rather peculiar peculiar pose. The partygoers are lost for words. See, I'm not the only one that thinks this is fucking ugly. <laughs> huh? That's me? Um, uh, well, I... It has a kind of a lifeless charm. And it's blue. I suppose it could be me. Lifeless? Life? <laughs> Aiden's not dead inside. Not dead, dead. I and mean, he's really having fun in this world? Come on, he's having a lot of fun in this world. <laughs> but what the hell am I supposed to say? Daddy. I worked hard- I worked super hard on it. Isn't it cute, darling? Super cute. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I, s I suppose you could call it... Cute. Mm. Yeah, yay! Even though you can't sing, it'll give us a super pretty glow once we light it. Oh, you're just setting Aiden on fire. You're mm. set. you're setting Aiden on fire. Light it. That's right. We just need a little fire. This is your birthday candle, darling. You have to keep it burning all day long. Be careful not to let it burn out. Taking a closer look. This is... There really is a wick coming out of this thing's head. Uh, wait, do we have to keep it lit until the entire candle has melted? Mm. You agree with Blade? That's your opinion. The only one. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> I think it's ugly. <laughs> like everyone else in the game, it's fucking ugly. <laughs> That's right, the whole candle. That way, th there'll be a pretty glow during this dance. Uh, well... Stop! I can't allow this! <laughs> Yakumo leaves forth to embrace the giant candle in his arms <laughs> and protects it from Blade's fire magic. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Yakumo! <laughs> Yo, this is Yakumo's Dakimakura. This is Yakumo's Aiden Dakimakura. Uh, but if we don't light it, I feel like setting fi Master on fire isn't such a good thing to do. Yeah, exactly. You see, no, he doesn't love it. He just doesn't want Master to be on to be barbecue. It's not that he thinks it's cute. <laughs> that makes it sound way worse than it is. Uh, nobody, nobody will let me light it. <laughs> if this is Aiden's birthday candle, we can't just let it melt into nothingness. We should place it in the foyer, so visi visitors to the mansion can enjoy it. Like hell we should! No way that's happening. I'm not so narcissistic that uh, I want to show off this thing for everybody to see. Yeah, Garu, Garu is just hitting us with cold hard facts here. It's fucking ugly! It's ugly! <laughs> Even if, if most people wouldn't have a clue what they're looking at. Huh, it's truly a unique creation crafted by Blade's own hands. I also feel it as though it should be preserved. Indeed, in the fire territory. I've never seen before this kind of, of wax statue. No, even Yakumo said to show off, he just doesn't want he just doesn't want Agent to burn! Excuse me, he's just he's a nice boy. He will never he'll he will never be honest to his feelings. Come on. Have you seen the Valentine scene? Excuse me. In the Valentine scene, he's a jealous bitch. He'd be lying the whole day. He said, Oh, I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous that your your neighbor fucked you. I'm not jealous. Oh, oh. then he, he goes and goes ham on <laughs> Aiden's ass and that day Aiden needed a wheelchair. <laughs> Yeah, Dante delicious. Not gonna lie, I quite like Dante. Dante is like, um... The the rude... The rude younger guy that fucks the, the older one. It's kinda, it's kinda cute in his own way, that Moe Gap, you know? 
<laughs> but it's so funny that his first time is with Aiden. I mean, like, of all people, really? <laughs> Nor have I seen such an enormous candle in, in the royal capital. Perhaps Blade has created something of great value. No, Edmund, you just, you just, you're just blind. <laughs> Anyone here felt like saying daddy? Sorry daddy, sorry daddy to Yakumo. He's my husband. You can call him daddy. You can call him daddy though. I'm just like, happy. <laughs> when I when I see like Yakumo. But daddy though, I think Dante is like daddy. Dante and Quincy is like daddy material to me. Especially Quincy. Quincy has the biggest dick. <laughs> But like, though, I just wish that Dante has something a bit more special about his dick. I mean, like, Quincy has the size, you know? He has the size. So that's why it's like, boom, baby! You know? Like, you know, you, have you seen, like, Quincy's intimacy scenes? Aiden was very, very happy. <laughs> he was having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> With Yakumos, he has the most, like, uh... We ha we got the most fan service, you know? Like, we get a, the most loving route, right? The mob character would like to know Quincy's location, but Quincy won't even... <laughs> He'll be sleeping. Da Dante is fiery. No, Dante... You know, Dante just has a... It just has a titanium dick. Like, it just says his dick is hard. That's it. I'm just like... Yeah, and so everyone's dick is hard. We literally have Blade that's an e-robot <laughs> that can change flavor of his dick. Okay, like, do you want chocolate pudding? Do you want this? Do you want, do you want like, fried chicken? Yo, I would love to have a lover that can change their dick flavors, okay? <laughs> Give me. I, I, oh, oh, really? Dante's intimacy scenes has something special? Okay, I may forgive him then. Is it okay if we don't like it, Blade? It's a special gift from you, so I'd like to keep it. Hi. There is condom that for that Yuma, but it's not authentic taste. <laughs> Blade likely to have ate it, and so, you know, the same. <laughs> I don't think it will taste good. It's pretty bad, you know. Ordinary condoms. Okay, so story time, guys. I actually found like a condom in like the previous home that I was staying. So, uh, of course, it's not used, right? Of course, it's still in, in the in the little package. So I opened it up and and I literally blew it. I blew it into like a balloon size, and it was actually really fun to play with. It's a giant balloon with a little tit. And end. it has a little titty in the end. It's pretty funny. But the thing is, the taste was so bad. I can't believe anyone would like try to eat it. I think I think that would be so bad. I, I don't know, man. Like it has a really bad uh, lube taste, I guess. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> There's always one. Huh? But if you don't like it, Lil Aster won't be able to perform his candle div divination magic for you. Candle divination? What's that? I perform it every year to calculate my fortune. I was planning to perform one for you too, but it's no big deal. After all, your future is pretty clear to see, Master. Clear to see? <laughs> Aww. We all know you're sure to be well clothed and well fed, and you'll come you'll overcome any hardships. You'll be healthy and live a long life, and you'll leave you will even leave a wax statue behind for the people, people of the world to worship. Seems about right, don't you think? Uh, I'm okay now. I think we should just burn it. We should burn the candle. We should burn the candle. <laughs> we should burn the candle, bro. <laughs> Plus, Master, from this day forth, you're sure to get lucky. I mean, be as happy as can be. Whoa, it's rare to see the sh shitty little vampire speaking like an actual human. No, we keep it? No, we burn it. We are, we're burning it. <laughs> ah, before I forget, I want to officially thank everyone. Oh. Thank you all. As, as he shares his sincere, heartfelt gratitude, a rush of feelings surge, surges forth. 
Aiden dips his head and wipes the corner of his eyes. I feel so relaxed. I never thought the people of this world would throw me a birthday party and... And... Mr. Aiden? Darling! The roasted boar and birthday cake were both delicious. I'll hang the star by my bed so I can smell its lovely fra fragrance every day. Oh, his eyes are shining. Yo, he's shining. He's shining. <laughs> I'll cherish these two talismans and keep them safe. As for th this giant candle, if you guys want to display it in the foyer, go for it. <laughs> I've never been happier. Thank you, everyone. Wait, isn't his, isn't this like technically his first ever birthday party just for himself? That's so sad and that is so sweet. Yo, this is actually his first birthday party, isn't it? Yo, isn't he like 28 or something? Wait a second. Oh my god, that's so... Aww. <laughs> so much has happened since I came to this world. I'm so glad I got everyone by my side. No, oh, is that it? No. Oh, oh, there's a little bit more. There's a little bit more. Huh? Am I dreaming? Eh? Ah, oh, my hand. Oh, he's a baby. Oh, he's a baby. Oh, my, oh, my hand. My hands are so small. Damn, I must be- I'm dreaming about the past again. But this time, it seems so real. Looking down at his childlike hands, Aiden feels like as if he's returned to, his, to being his 10-year-old self. Aiden, look here. It seems like the thing you've been waiting for has finally arrived. Eh? A package appears in Aiden's hands. True to transparent parent wrapping, he sees a sketchbook and a pack of colored pencils. Ah. You wrote a letter to your friend, didn't you? You were Oh, it's the it's the it's the girl that got adopted. It's the girl that got adopted before him. Oh no. Oh You worked hard to save up her pocket money so she could see, send you a little present. But there was no way it could be delivered in time for the party. Thinking you would be angry, she was scared to send it. But once you received your letter, she sent your gift out right away. <laughs> I remember now. In the letter, she said I knew she knew I loved drawing, so she saved up her money and sent me a sketchbook and some pencils. <laughs> Are you feeling a little better now? Yeah. In that case, you better run off to bed. You've got school early in the morning. Don't come running to me if you get scolded for being late. Ah, oh, wait. I still have so much to say. Oh? Do you remember once you asked me if I thought about how to eliminate my feelings of unhappiness? Well, of course. This was just a few days ago. After all, have you found an answer? Uh, some feelings of unhappiness in life comes from being treated unfairly by others. And some situations can't be resolved no matter how hard you try. If I keep thinking about how to eliminate unhappiness like this, I'll just be banging my head against the wall. But I've come to realize that I don't really need to eliminate my unhappiness at all. Oh, that's a rather unexpected conclusion. How did you come to that decision? Because the unhappiness I felt can't be eliminated. But to combat that, I've learned how, how to fight for happiness. Like sharing my candy with everybody, helping to set up the hall for the party, and writing for letters to, who's, to a friend who's gone far, far away. I didn't understand before. I wasn't willing to try. But as long as I try to live a good life and search for happiness, those feelings of unhappiness will gradually fade away. Maybe it doesn't work for everybody, but I think this is the best way I can think of. I'm always gonna have times I feel down, but that's only gonna push me to work even harder to find happiness. Just like how you said giving out candy, uh, someone giving out candy on their birthday was pointless, yet 
Giving out candy this year made me feel happier than ever. I don't really need to eliminate those feelings of unhappiness. I just have to try to create even more feelings of happiness to make each day better than the last. That's my answer. That is actually very sound advice coming from Aiden. I'm so glad. You know, I'm so glad Aiden really has a good head on his shoulders. He really is a good boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's why every day, you know, you know, personally, I do not like, you know, going to drama, seeing drama, because that's like a source of unhappiness, right? And at the end of the day, some people just want to drive and draw and shit like that. So every day, I spend a lot of time with my dog, I spend a lot of time in my garden, and I, because of my three kilograms of kimchi recently, I finally got my, I got to make like some home cooked meals for my food every, for my meal, like my work meals every day. I, you know, it's pretty great. I have a roof over my head. I have three meals a day. I have some friends that I can count on. I think that's very much enough, you know? <laughs> yeah, we should be happy on the little things. We shouldn't be like, you know, it's okay to feel unhappy. You know, it's okay to feel sad sometimes, especially if you went through something a bit traumatic or you lost a friend or you broke a cup or something or you just lost some. You lost something a bit important, you know. That's why it's okay. It's okay to experience it, you know. And uh, the most important thing is to come back into, uh, into a happy, happier state or at least a neutral state. You shouldn't be sad forever, because that's only gonna hurt you more. And because it's gonna hurt you more, it's gonna hurt the people around you too. So in the end of the day, you know, try to cause. I I don't want it to be too serious. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Even if you're salty, I'm glad you're my friend too. You move on. I'm glad that you're my friend too. Ato. You really re supported me. And every single viewer of mine that came to my streams and always chatted and, you know, subscribed to me and always, you know, supported me this far. Uh, I also want to thank everybody for being here as well. Because I'm still learning how to be a good streamer. You know, like earlier I did ask about, um, maybe I should tone down the hyperness in my voice so that I don't sound annoying. What I'm afraid of really is that I sound annoying. But, you know, I also kind of like want to balance it out because I think my hyperness and my sussiness is like very uniquely me as well. So I'm like, hmm, you know, uh, give and take a little bit, right? <laughs> It's, so, it's been so long since I slept this well. I feel so alert and full of energy. Eden gets out of bed and goes to stretch by the window. Looking to his side, he sees the gifts he received from everybody lying on the table. You're doing great? No worries. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> Thinking back to the party, he can't help letting out a little smile. <laughs> Huh, make each day better than the last, huh? Well, I guess I better go see what's everyone up to. That's right, that's true. Every day is a new day. Oh, that's it? <laughs> oh, that's it, that's it. But there's more though, it seems like, oh. Yo, 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 guys, guys, there's another, like, another area in five days. So I guess I'll be seeing you guys in five days. Yeah. <laughs> Eliminate your troubles. Ooh. Oh, Yakimo team, let's go. Yo, this event. Yeah, same. I really love this event, not gonna lie. This is. You know, it really shows a, a lot more about Aiden's. Aiden's past and how Aiden became to be. He's such a good boy. He's just... He, he was... You know, the fact that he... Luckily enough, he didn't grow up with too much trauma from what I see. Like, from being left behind and... You know, I was like, yo, is he gonna have insecurities? I mean, he kind of has a little bit. He He's a bit lonely. You know, so I was like, Aww. I'm I'm just glad he, he didn't grow up fucked up. <laughs> Nightmare removal. Oh. 
He grows. He grew up good. That's horny. Yeah, it's okay. We love him for his horniness. <laughs> the Mao rib ate it. <laughs> Rest in pieces, Quincy. <laughs> okay, and that's it for today. Whoa, baby. Oh, that event was really nice. How was it for everybody? I think this was really nice. Not gonna lie. Uh, let me do my little my my dailies. I don't have a lot of uh, items or Garu left now. Ugh. I should like gather more altered fish for him. There we go. Sixty six percent. We're quite far in. Yeah, that's great. Ooh, Starlight N. Yeah, yeah. I would love to make like the candy that. Aiden is me, not gonna lie, it's oh. really, really cute. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. And with that, I think I'll end the stream here. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining my stream. I may be playing Pokemon Unite. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll see my mood. I, I think likely not. I have spoken a lot in this game. <laughs> uh, and I will make a candle for you too. I'll beat you up, Ethel. I will beat you up. <laughs> I will personally beat you up. Oh my god, don't tell me you're gonna get like those hand candles, right? I used to make those wax hand things too, <laughs> when I was a kid. It was so ugly. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, alright? Bye bye! You must me! Good night everybody! Good night, good night, good night! I'll see you guys next time! Wah 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 wah